All right. Hello, everyone. My name is Veritas, and welcome back to The Division. Uh, today, I wanted to go over something not necessarily like a glitch video, uh, nothing immediately helpful, but I wanted to give you guys my thoughts on uh, some problems I have personally um, with the system of the Dark Zone. Give me one second. My TV's... It's so fucking loud! But um, I wanted to give you guys uh, some of my thoughts regarding the Dark Zone and the end game of... Uh, TC's the D. Um, so, first of all, I want to bring up the whole system of the Dark Zone having its own blueprint system, um, having division tech with that bottleneck, and the fact that a lot of endgame gear that can be seen as the best or better than most things you can get uh, while farming challenge modes or hard modes or getting blueprints from the uh, base of operations. A lot of stuff in the Dark Zone is inherently better, and a lot of things in the Dark Zone you can't access outside of it. Um, there are certain uh, gear blueprints and certain weapon blueprints that are DZ exclusive. Uh, that is to say, you can only buy them um, in the Dark Zone. You can only gain access to them uh, from playing in the Dark Zone. And uh, you, know, you might think, well, why is that inherently a problem? Um, Inherently, it's a problem because that forces people to go into PvP. Um, now, you might be thinking, why, that, why is that a problem? Let me give you guys a statement. And uh, just, I'm not going to try, I'm not going to really explain it. I'm not going to go into detail about it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to expect it to be something that if I just say it in a certain way, it might click. Um, and you guys might see my problem with it. I'm going to say a statement. My progression in Tom Clancy's The Division throughout the entirety of the game is controlled by whether or not someone had a bad day at school or work. That's it. Now, you might think, well, what, what do you mean? Well, think about it. Um, you know, just, just think about it. I don't like the fact that the Dark Zone is this source of endgame loot that is inaccessible otherwise and within the dark zone you have the capability and the capacity to go rogue that I don't have a problem with there needs to be a zone that's got PvP there needs to be that that needs to be in the game I don't agree with the fact that the game forces you into this zone to be able to acquire better gear um, if you never go in the dark zone, you have a chance to find some decent stuff, but you will not have anywhere near the capacity to find the loot or have the loot that other people do um, that have been in the dark zone. Especially if you want any kind of decent gear. Uh, you know, I want a high-end um, AUG, and the only way to get that is from the dark zone, I think. Um, there are also gear blueprints, I believe, uh, what is it, holsters? or gloves, I don't remember which one it is, but one of them is only available in the Dark Zone. I don't like that. I don't like my progression in a game to be controlled by someone else being pissy. You know, if if I'm in the Dark Zone having a good time with friends or solo, and then someone walks up and is like, I'm gonna shoot this guy because I'm angsty and upset, and then they kill me, and they take my shit, I am now being prevented from progressing because someone else felt like shooting me or felt like being an asshole. Um, I really haven't had too bad of experiences with the Dark Zone um, up until yesterday. Uh, yesterday was my, so far, my worst experience in the DZ. And I know some people never have a problem in the Dark Zone, but that's fine. Um, I didn't have one until yesterday. Um, my issue yesterday was... Uh, I've been in the dark zone for about four hours, and I was like, "All right, I'm just gonna leave now." I'm, you know, I'm done. I just extracted some loot and stuff like that, and I was like, "All right, I'm gonna head out." And as I'm leaving, um, I pass by a uh, a player who's running in. I'm like, "Oh, hey, you know, I'm leaving. He's coming in." That's, you know, I just, you know, just a passing. That's interesting. And then as I made my way towards the door, um, I got shot from behind, and I was like, "All right, I guess there's some some enemies that because I passed a group of enemies on my way, and I was like, "Oh, they must be shooting. I'll help this guy who just ran past me." shoot the enemies. So I turn around and I find it I find out that it's the guy who I had just passed who's actually shooting me. 
So my instinct is now that I'm being shot at, I return fire. Only to realize a moment later that, in fact, he hasn't gone rogue yet, but he has taken half of my health away. So I stopped shooting so that I wouldn't be marked rogue. When I did that, um, I said, you know, fuck that, forget it, I'm not going to go rogue, I'm not going to get baited into going rogue. I don't know how I'm at half health from full and he hasn't been marked rogue yet, but whatever. So as I continue running towards the door, I keep getting shot from behind, he's still not being tagged rogue. And then three more guys walk in from the door, I'm assuming the rest of his team that were loading in, uh, walk in, come out of the woodwork, and all start firing at me until I go down, and only after I've been down and half of my health has been bled out do they get pinged rogue. Um, I don't know if it was server lag or what happened. All I know is there was nothing I could have done to defend myself from that situation without pinging myself as an enemy and giving them rewards for killing me. I don't know why that happened, I don't know if it was lag, I don't know if it was just the game being weird, I don't know if there was some foul play, I have no idea. All I know is, I couldn't have fought back without losing stuff. And even in doing that, I lost stuff. Um, and I don't much appreciate that. I didn't lose any gear because I just extracted my loot from my four hour venture, uh, from my most recent, you know, gallivant through the dark zone. And that's not necessarily the point, but it just, it was frustrating to me for that to have happened. Um, the other problem is, the Dark Zone is this weird, endless loop. Um, much like Challenge Mode is, where you need better gear, you know, you need better armor and weapons to be able to survive and have a decent time in Challenge Mode or the Dark Zone, but you can't get that armor and weaponry gear unless you can play the challenge mode of the dark zone but you can't do challenge mode of the dark zone effectively because you don't have the armor or gear from the dark zone or the challenge mode because you don't have the armor or gear from the dark zone or the challenge mode because you can't go into the dark zone or the challenge mode because you don't have the gear or the weapons from the dark zone <laughs> you see what i mean it's an endless awful loop and it's there's a a few games that have loops like that, uh, loot loops or whatever you want to call it. There's a few games that have that. Um, Raids and Destiny can do it, just but that's more based off of pure RNG or the lack thereof RNG. Um, whereas in the Division, it feels like it's more an intentional uh, slowdown for players making progress. Now. Up until a few days ago, I hadn't been able to complete a challenge mode because my gear wasn't good enough. Because I didn't have the capability as a solo player to do anything effectively in the dark zone. My health was too low. I hadn't gotten lucky enough to get a, a decent, you know, a decent piece of armor drop with health on it that didn't tank my firearms or my skill power. So my problem was. The RNG wasn't good enough, and I didn't have the materials to craft something because I didn't have a blueprint from the dark zone or from challenge mode or hard mode or wherever um, I didn't have the capacity to create or get um, a piece of armor slash weapon because I couldn't I, I just didn't have access to the zones they were in and I couldn't go get them because I didn't have them um, and it's things like that that frustrate me uh, I notice it in division a lot especially with this forced PvP area um, I notice it a lot more than most games do, and I know I know some people won't have that problem, and I know some people will, and you know one person having the problem and five people not having the problem doesn't necessarily invalidate the one person having the problem, but it does remove it from being as big of an issue. All right, okay, it does remove it from being uh, as much of an issue as say other things like game breaking bugs and things like that. So, I'm not necessarily calling for, well, I want to be able to do the entire game by playing normal mode fucking medical hospital. That's not what I'm saying. Um, I'm just simply voicing my disdain and dislike for specifically how um, they kind of force you into the dark zone or force you into endgame content that you may or may not be able to be geared for. Um, but that's just that's just one of my personal things. My main issue with the Dark Zone is that 
my progress as a player can be wholly stunted, prevented, stopped, or stolen by someone who just feels like they just are going to shoot me um, or attack my team or whatever. And I, I, don't, I don't like that kind of stuff. And then you might say, well, then just don't go to the dark zone. You know, then just farm challenge mode. The problem with that is there's some stuff in the dark zone that you can't get other places. Um, the other thing is the bottleneck of high-end division tech. Um, division tech is a high-end crafting material that you can only get inside the dark zone, and it's used in high-end crafting uh, blueprints for dark zone purchased blueprints. Um, things like the tactical aug, uh, whatever pieces of armor you can't get otherwise, things like that um, are only available from Dark Zone vendors, especially Dark Zone vendors like the Phoenix Credit vendor up in DZ06, the hardest Dark Zone available currently in vanilla game, and it's surrounded by level 32 enemies, which you need pretty much a team um, to go fight your way through. Uh, I've made it to that doorway one time, but you can't enter safe houses while in combat. And I had no way to fight my way through there solo, so I haven't been to that Phoenix credit vendor yet, even though I've been maxed out on Phoenix credits now for what seems like a week. Um, but my progress as a player is currently, and kind of for a while now, going to be stunted just because of the fact I don't play with a team for Dark Zone, um, because I don't have many friends to do Dark Zone with, and because it's just, it's just complicated. So those kind of things uh, annoy me minorly. And I know that's not everyone's problem. I know that's not, you know, going to be everyone's thing. Um, a few people I've talked to and brought up, like, you know, I don't like my progression being halted by someone else just being a dick. They're like, yeah, I don't like that either. Um, you know, it's not, we're not going to change the way the game is played. You know, Rogue Static is going to be something that's in the Dark Zone. That's, you know, it's there for good. I'm not trying to, like, say, like, get rid of Rogues. I'm just, you know, there need to be other... Um, other avenues for progression that aren't solely PvP based, um, or solely based in an area where you can be PvP'd. Um, that kind of stuff bugs me, and it's just, it. I feel like it's forcing people to play the game in a way they don't want to. Not saying that's a bad thing, you know, the developers want you to play a game a certain way, that's fine, that's fair, but just, just for me it's kind of annoying. Um, but I don't want to get to like eh, fucking me. Um, I'm just voicing my just voicing my opinions. I'm up for constructive criticism on the idea. Like, what kind of ideas do you guys have for how they could restructure? Maybe, you know, the fact that you can't get certain blueprints for certain gear and weapons outside the dark zone. What do you guys think about having to go into the dark zone uh, to get certain stuff? Things like that. Um, I know some people like it. I know a lot of people actually like PvP. That's fine, that's fine, um, but otherwise, eh, but otherwise, I don't know, that's all I have, speaking of rogues, but, um, yeah, so let, let uh, you guys let me know what you think about the, uh, about the dark zone in the comments section, how you guys feel about, uh, your progress in endgame possibly being halted by someone, uh, just fucking around or having nothing to lose or being so over gear that you can't possibly fight back, that kind of stuff. Um, regardless, I might make a few more videos down the line about this kind of thing, uh, as more thoughts come to me. This has been more of like a, kind of like a, just something I've been thinking about for a while now. It's been bothering me for a little bit. Um, I haven't really voiced it too much, but that's because it usually sounds like whiny, and I'm not a huge fan of sounding like I'm whiny, but there's only so many different ways you can voice distaste for something, before it just becomes like, fix the game for me, I'm having a bad time and I don't like it when the meanie hits me and, and, and you, the, There's only so much I can say that doesn't sound um, like that. Where is this D-Tech? In here? It is. High end. Damn. All right. Um, but yeah, guys, that's going to be it for me today. Uh, I figured I'd just voice that. If you guys have any issues with the DZ um, or anything like that, Go ahead and leave a comment below. I'd like to hear what you guys think about the Dark Zone. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Do you run around with friends? Do you gank uh, people that... Do you do you fuck up in groups people that can't defend themselves for, for cheap laughs? Or are you people that are being killed by groups of people for cheap laughs? Uh, things like that. But anyway, well, thank you guys so much for watching. 
leave your comments in the comment section below. And, uh, yeah, hopefully we'll uh, do stuff. Also, uh, quick mention, if anyone's actually still here, uh, quick mention that I am doing a daily uh, weapon skins uh, video starting this, technically last night. Starting t this fucking today-ish, there will be a daily uh, available weapon skins from the Appearance Vendor video going up, um, I'm guessing at like 9 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard, because that's about an hour after the vendor resets for me. Uh, so I'll be doing those videos daily, uh, hopefully. Um, so those will be up so you guys can see what the skins look like, and I'll show you where to buy them, how to unlock the area to buy them, things like that. Just a quick, like, two-minute video every day if you guys are curious about the weapon skins of the day. Anyway, so if you want to check that out, go ahead and look at that. I'll leave a fucking something somewhere. I don't know, maybe a link in the description, maybe just an annotation on the screen. I have no idea. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, leave your comments in the comment section below. I'm rambling. I'm, like, losing my fucking mind. But, uh, anyway... Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, very much appreciated. And uh, yeah, until the next video, have a great day, everyone.